Hello? Pretty good, are you, Mr. Bergen? Oh, I'm got lots of trouble. I want to see what you... We all have those. What do you think about this Vietnam thing? What, what I'd like to hear you talk a little bit. Well, frankly, Mr. President, if you were to tell me that I was authorized to settle it as I saw fit, I would uh, respectfully decline to undertake it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a damn worst mess I ever saw, and uh, I, I, I don't like to brag. I never have been right many times in my life, but I knew we were going to get in this sort of mess when we went in there, and I don't see how we were going to ever get out without fighting a major war with the Chinese and all of them down there in those uh, rice paddies and jungles. I just don't see it. It's, uh, I, I just don't know what to do. Well, that's the way I've been feeling for uh, it's, it's six months. Our, situ our, our position is deteriorating. And uh, it looked like the more we try to do for them, the less they're willing to do for themselves. It's, uh, it's just a sad situation. There's no sense of responsibility there on the part of any of their leaders, apparently. It's all just uh, uh, through generations uh, or even centuries they have uh, just thought about uh, the individual and glorifying the individual, and that's the only utilization of power, just to glorify the individual, not to save the state or to help other people. And uh, they, they, they just can't shed themselves of that uh, complex. It's a, it's, a, it's a hell of a, hell of a situation. It's, it's a mess, and it's going to get worse. And I don't know, I don't know how, what to do if, um, I don't think the American people are, are quite ready for us to send our troops in there to do the fight. And uh, if it came down to an option of just sending the Americans in there to uh, do the fighting, which will, of course, eventually aid into a, a ground war and a conventional war with China, and uh, we do them a favor every time we kill a coolie, whereas in one of our people got killed, it'd be a loss to us. If it got down to that, or just pulling out, I'd... Uh, I'd get out, but I, but then I don't know. There's undoubtedly some middle ground somewhere. If I was going to get out, I'd get the same crowd that got rid of old Dean to get rid of these people and get some fella in there that said he wished to hell we would get out. That'd give us a good excuse for getting out. I, I just, it, it, it's, uh, it, I see no terminal date uh, uh, for, for any part of that in there. How important is it to us? It isn't important to them yet, but all this new... Business. Well, I guess it's important to, uh, to uh, well, isn't it from, from a stand psychological standpoint. I mean, yes, and from the standpoint that we are party to a treaty, and if we don't pay attention to this treaty, well, I don't <laughs> guess they, pay, they think we're paying attention to any of them. Yeah, but we're the only one paying any attention to it. Yeah, I think that's right. You see, the other people just as much right. by that treaty. That's right, but just because well, somebody I else... I think there's some 12 or 14 other countries. Yeah, that's right. Uh, there are 14 of them, but... Uh, I'm the, not, uh, I don't know much about the foreign policy, but it seemed to me there were several of them. That were, yeah, there are 14. We're parties to it, and, and, and uh, other than the uh, question of our word and saving face, I... That's the reason I said that I don't think that anybody would expect us to stay in there. Uh, there's some old freebooter down in there that uh, I've forgotten his name. Uh, I haven't heard about him lately, but he's still there. Sort of a hellraiser, and he don't know exactly what he wants, I think. And he, but he's the... Uh,